this is episode six and day six of my alpha 17 seven days to die let's play i made level 20 during the night i did have an incident with a zombie uh i was trying to work even though he was up there i knew he was up there shuffling around and even though I was crouched and I was digging, he still heard me and he started uh, busting up blocks up there. Uh, but it's daytime now. Oh, and before we rush off, we have some points to spend. We have four points, so we gotta do the two to get to level four and then buy the hammer and forge. Which is awesome. Um, also, we could do this to craft bicycles, but I want to do something maybe a little more because maybe we can get that after the seven day hoard. But I would like to see if there's something else we could do that might help us uh, with the hoard. Um,. Pain tolerance would be good. I like well insulated because that gets you. Uh, I just think it's a hassle being hot and cold, and I don't like switching gear. Um, so I think that would be good, but I don't know that it's what I want. We could get the natural healing, which I have gained quite a bit of hit points. Um, <laughs> the zombie sort of I opened up the thing to go out and deal with him and he came down into my base instead so <laughs> I did take a little bit of damage and I've been healing because a little bit faster because of this <sighs> pain tolerance would also be good man it's so hard to to, to decide what you want early on um I really would like something that would reduce the stamina usage of my tools. Um, I don't know if the tools count for this. This is melee stamina usage. Technically it is meleeing because I do have, you know, an axe or a pick in my hand, but I don't know that that counts. Uh, so, yeah. Um, uh, that might be good if we get a hammer, which we could do once we build the forge. So maybe, and I haven't touched anything on this. Also, we did get the shades. I don't know if you saw that last episode. We got shades, which give a bonus to two perception. Uh, sunglasses make you look cool and boost your perception. Uh, we got those in that house where we got murdered repeatedly. <laughs> um, also, I would like to make some leg armor and a uh, band. Uh, what is it called? The bandana, I think. Um, we have a bunch of cloth here. Let's see. A bandana, yeah. So we'll wear that. That gives us a little bit more heat and cold resistance. I don't think um, there's really any other face slot. I don't know. I mean, there's nothing that I can make. Um, what do we have on our head? We have this baseball cap. Um, I'm wondering if the hat is better. Like the, the the plant fiber hat. I'll put my plant fibers up. I made some of the uh, storage boxes from the nails that we made in the other forge. And I actually have a couple extra. Um, where did I put them? I think I put them in here. Uh, we made a hundred nails. I made ten storage boxes, so now our storage problem 
has been solved. Yay. So, um, what I'm thinking is maybe, I don't like having it on the floor, the forge. So maybe we'll make like a little block here and we'll set our forge right there. Okay, um, I also wanted, let's, let's make the hat. We can always scrap it if it's no good. Um, okay, so it's one cold resist and seven heat resist. What we're wearing is plus two to that. So, yeah. Okay, so what we want is to look at, uh, let's first do our forge. Uh, oh, I think I put leathers over here. Yeah, we got plenty of leather. And we're going to need two pipes. Um, I think it's... We do have enough leather. I would prefer to have leather armor over cloth because it is a little bit better protection, I think. Uh, so, oh, oh, that's right. Um, we can't do leather yet because you have to craft leather armor in the workbench. And I believe we can't craft the workbench yet because it's under, is it Yana Science? Uh, advanced enge advanced engineering um, which is locked behind intellect 5 and intellect 5 is locked behind level 30 so we can't make leather armor until le level 30 so it kind of blows uh, but you know we could make scrap armor which doesn't make sense that you would think that the scrap armor would need to be put together in the workbench, but it doesn't. I don't want scrap armor though, because that's considered heavy armor and it it slows you down. So we're gonna go with the padded legs, padded leg armor. Oh, cool! And it only takes one duct tape, so that's awesome. And we'll put those cloth fragments up. Oh yeah, and that's level three. Awesome. Okay, so let's get to get our forge going. Bellows. We need the bellows, which takes the 20 leather. We'll craft that up. That'll take a few seconds. Um, pretty much, once we make the forge, we'll be able to upgrade our axe. Um, and then we'll be able to put that modification in there because that would make it a level three. And we could probably, I think I might leave this as a backup tool. Let's get our forge recipe ready. Oh, uh, we need the clay. <laughs> um, did that actually go in my inventory? Good. Because closed it before I placed it. Awesome. Okay, so that's going to take a few seconds and we'll want our anvil. Oh, this is going to be so nice having our own forge here. Uh, and we can, we can actually make tools. So what I'd want is to maybe look at, instead of using the ax as a weapon. Oh, there we go, there we go. I might make a sledgehammer, which would be awesome. Okay, so. <laughs> now we need is the iron. What did I do with it? I think it's in here. No. It's now in here. So we have a little bit. 
We're gonna need some clay to. Yeah, I think that'll be good. There we go. We'll turn that on and get that stuff, uh, get our iron melting. But uh, we already have a little bit of forged iron saved up. So we can probably go ahead and make what I want is a hammer. So yeah, the iron sledge hammer. Maybe we could put the torch thing in there uh, because let's check this out. Uh, let's make an iron sludge hammer and then an iron fire axe, an iron pickaxe, and an iron shovel. <laughs> oh my god, that's so much stuff. And we can unfavorite these things and favorite our things, but. Oh, we'll be able to make a claw hammer. Uh, can't do that because all of our things are full now. Look at how much iron we already used. I do want to make the claw hammer, so we're going to go ahead and favorite that. Um, we might want to make a bucket to get, we could make, um, make a little two by two area and and basically have all unlimited water here at our base instead of having to go out and fetch it that would be nice it's kind of cheesy but uh seven iron 12 iron that's 19 we would have enough to make both of them we'll take that under advisement um Those are so expensive. 20 per. Um, okay, so today is day six. Uh, we spent our points. We do have one left. Um, better bartering would be good, but... To decide. Um, hmm, oh man. This would be good to, I mean. I don't think getting infected kills you anymore. I got infected in my other game, as well as in this one, although I didn't realize it at the time. In my other game, I saw that when it got stage one, it only, it's a very short. Um, I was like, what's the point of having antibiotics? You have to carry those around with you to make them effective. Hmm. It's so tough to decide. I think I might do the wrecking crew, but honestly, I'm probably going to be doing a lot of sitting up top shooting raining hellfire from above so uh I, it might be nice to put some points in here into the uh marksmanship perks um i don't know if that i think we might want to do archery because that's probably going to be our main damage i don't really have that many bullets at the moment and we're getting a plus two bonus to perception, which does what? 
I don't know what that does. Is that actually giving me this? I don't know. Uh, increasing the weight. Range weapon damage would be good too. This is faster. Mm. I think just the straight up damage might be better. Uh, but I don't know if we're getting it from the shades. I don't think we are though, so I'm gonna go ahead and buy it. Okay. Um. <laughs> let's uh. Let's go ahead and where is? I think that's still in this chest. We're going to put that burning shaft mod in there. Hopefully it can go in there. Yeah. And supposedly having a modifier in there also increases the melee damage. If you look, it gives us plus three and plus block damage. I don't know how you, how do you block? Okay, let's complete that. And <laughs> let's go up and have Look at that. There we go. Let's get up there. I want to get some spikes laid out. Oh my. My, 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 my. <laughs> oh, look at that. It's burning, baby. Burn, baby, burn. Just go and burn them. Okay, let's make sure we're not getting snuck up on. Ooh, it's a little bit. I love it. <laughs> Don't talk smack to me. Oh, I'm out of, I'm out of stamina. Do, 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 do. Let's just walk over here. Cool as a cucumber. Having fun with our fiery hammer of doom. <laughs> I love how they just push each other around. Prone. Yeah, that looks like it hurt. Oh, oh, they dropped the bag. Let's um, let's drag them guys over here. And let's sprint over here and try to loot this bag real quick. Ah, oh, loot the bag, loot the bag. Oh, there was crap in there. It's like a doorknob and some duke. I love it. I love it. Oh. There we go. Oh, he got back up. He's a tough mother. Oh, we still got stragglers over here. Let's go. Uh, let's walk over here. Wow. Look at all of them. Say hello to my little friend. Oh, it set him on fire! He's on fire! That zombie's on fire! Oh, another bag! Oh! Oh, how did I miss twice? And what is this tree doing over here? We're gonna have to get rid of this tree. Oh yeah, we already made 21. Look at that, more handlebars. We got 80 dupes, some candlesticks, and some paper off of that other one. That one was a little better, and there's... There is a zombie over here. We don't want to forget you. We already made a level. <laughs> Oh, there's more. Wow! Did you get 
too. Oh, that zombie's on fire. Watch him burn. Oh, he didn't even... Stay down. I think there's some zombies up here digging through the hill. Hey! Jump skulls! You can't do any damage over there. Ooh, some oil. Nice. Oh, it looks like she took that right on the chin. That is awesome. Uh, <laughs> I love this hammer. Smash! Debbie, smash! Yeah. Can I take this tree out? Ooh. That didn't give me any wood. Did it? I don't want this over here. Let's put it over here. There are other trees. Oh, I am loving that. I've tried to pick up most of the plants and the rocks lying around on the outskirts of the base. I also, uh, over the night, I got these other pillars put up, finished off those, added a ladder on this side. I wanted to get the interior done, but what we're going to have to do, I think, I would like to go raiding some more. Oh, look at this. We got a new fire axe and a new pick. Uh, what I wanted to do was to get the hammer. We also got a shovel. So we'll probably keep these as like a backup just in case, you know, some something unfortunate happens um i mean probably what i want to do is get the claw hammer first because that'll be a big upgrade from the stone axe and we'll go ahead and make that bucket uh yeah and then oh that's a good pistol it doesn't have very much damage on it it's level two that's nice we'll probably use up what ammo we have on the first board but we need tons of wood because I would like for if there is a zombie they want to come trouncing through my base I want them to pay dearly for it <laughs> um, yeah so I'd like to is no that's just a chick it's just a chick zombie I like this hammer I really do um, Hello? Don't walk away. Oh, I didn't do a power attack. Why didn't I do a power attack? I don't know. Okay, so we have some new tools. Um, we have the hammer coming in. Let's go ahead and dump some of these other tools into one of our new chests. I also want to repair that. Uh, oh, is this already over? Yeah, we were out having fun killing the zombies and there we go there's our hammer excellent excellent uh, let's go ahead and turn that on and let's craft up a bunch of that forged iron because we used almost all of it uh, not here change that. I might switch those around because it makes sense that the metal stuff should be over the forge. Does that make sense? Since we're here, I might as well put that over there. Oh, I love this. Flaming hammer of doom. It's excellent. Um, And I made a chest just for uh, our guns and ammo. Um, I suppose our cash. 
is going to go in there. Um, I guess we can put, let's make, is there something in this one? No. This will be our spare tools chest. Okay. And here's our shovel. We just don't have enough room on our hot bar now. Um, there's just no getting over it. I need that to gather stone. I need that to gather wood. I need that to gather dirt. I guess we're not going to be digging right now, so that's okay to leave that there. Uh huh. And I think the paper is over here, so it's the oil. And. I guess we can put the handlebars over here. We only have one. They really want us to make a bicycle, huh? That should have been a chassis. Uh, because I believe we got, we got the chemicals early on. We got four of them. Alright, what I want to do... Let's, we're not going to worry about the water right now. Let's put our bucket up here. Um, I we need to gather tons of wood because I'm gonna put some spikes up around. So let's go chop down some of these trees we have over here. Look at this one. This one is like out of place. We need to take care of this. This so this is gonna be like a a, a boring episode, but I just I have to get the wood. These might be like 600s now, uh, but this one looks fully grown, so it's probably at 1200. Oh, it's only a nine! Wow, that's freaking huge for a 900. I can't believe it. Whoa, that tree just grew. That's only the 300 pine. Sorry, I'm looking. <laughs> I'm enjoying the scenery. Uh, I like those pine trees, but man, they sure do block up the place. You can't, they look really nice, but you just can't see through them. Uh, lots of more flowers over here to be picked. Uh, I might come through here and get these golden rods. Depending on how many seeds we have. I might get a little farm going just so we can have it go. So this is 900. These trees look really nice. Uh, this is what the pine tree looks like two stages after that one. That's the 300. That's the 900. I don't, I don't what tree was I on? I forgot. Not this one. <laughs> uh, I should have brought some food and drink out with me because uh, the more you stay hydrated the faster you regen your stamina plus if you drink you get a little buff for your stamina regen um, it might be good to get some coffee because I think Coffee gives you a little buff. I'm not sure. Uh, I did read it uh, when I made some in my last game, but I never actually used it. It's like um, that yucca juice seems to give you way more than like 34 stamina or 34 hydration. Plus it's supposed to give you 15% stamina, it says on there, so I think that's like a 15% stamina engine while the buff is active, so yeah. Yep, there we go, we're thirsty, we need to go back in. Um, let's get the yucca juice, get back over there by the trees, drink it, and see how well we do. Ha <laughs> ha 
Yep, we're just here for, well, actually, let's grab one more and a food. Because we are down 20, no, that's only 17. So we'll hold off on the food. But we definitely need to drink. All right. So we're gonna go ahead and drink our yucca juice. We're at 83% or 83 stamina. Um, let's see what the drink. Your stamina is regenerating faster when you are hydrated. Yeah. Oh, I gotta replay it. Did you know you like, watch this. You get experience for planting saplings. That's kind of cool. We still got that, um... We still got the stamina region. Look, we were at like 59, and look at our first still going up. So yeah, that that gave us like 40, and I haven't put any points into uh, the the thirst thing. So now our stamina, our stamina buff is gone, so we're not going to uh, regenerate the extra stamina. Uh, unfortunate. I liked it in uh, in one of the mods I played. That's too close. Um, I wonder if I can plant it there. Oh, goody. How much wood do we have? Oh, 1,300. That is awesome. But we need more. Oh, this is the tree that... Oh, look. Zombert. Zombert, I see you. Let me come show you. Uh, I got a new toy, and I'd like you to see it and tell me what you think. Do you like it? Oh, he did not get knocked back. That is crazy. Took a little damage. So we'll be uh, regenerating a little bit. We're only down seven hit points. That's not a big thing. So I'd like to at least... Uh, my, my plan is I want to put some fence up around it to sort of hurt the zombie into certain areas so that I don't have to put as many okay I think there's just too many trees close by there we go <laughs> so I don't want to have to put spikes all the way around but I've seen the zombies they if there's a way for them to get through without destroying a block they'll go around so as long as you leave them a pathway as long as you don't fully like I can I guess there was a tree there as long as you don't fully close the area off they won't break the blocks to get through uh, at least that's uh, what it looked like to me I think this is one of those fire pits that you, if you walk on it, take damage. I don't like those. Well, it's good for the zombies to walk over them, but not for me. So we're going to have to, in some way, lay down our traps that's in such a way that it will keep the zombies, but not us. But we have ladders um, going up on the exterior of our base. 
Um, did we loot this? Yeah. Okay. Those are good little finds because they can have ovens, which could have food, and the cabinets can also have food, and they have a bird nest, which could have eggs. <laughs> so that's really good. Hey, look, a free chair. Okay, we are 26 down. Snowberry is used in something, I believe, now. Nothing. Nothing in the garbage. How can there be garbage with nothing in it? Okay, um... I don't like these. Okay. We've got... We probably have enough wood for a little bit. Oh, he got up and then he fell back down. He's like, oh, I, I think I'm done. Um, we still need tons and tons of eggs to go with our bacon and eggs. Um, of course, we're not getting any. Oh, look, a backpack. Oh, it's empty. Let's go ahead and harvest this rock. I think I've hit most of the, the rocks up around our base. <laughs> it's lucky that we found this one. Oh, I don't know if you can hear my cat. She's very vocal. It's not actually my cat. That's my daughter's cat. <laughs> she thinks it's 7.30 Sunday morning. Uh... She thinks it's time for my daughter to get up and feed her, so she's over there scratching on the door, meowing. <laughs> she's very insistent on uh, the time in which she gets fed. She does not like to wait. Awesome. Oh, look, there's some more rocks. Uh, that is awesome. Yeah, because we only have 500. Um, and I would also like to upgrade, I would like to upgrade, um, at least the interior pillars to make them a little bit tougher for the Horde Knight. There's, we're 29 down. I think that might be good enough for our food. Let's go ahead and eat it. Check our hydration level. We've been working hard. We're at 91, so that, that should be good. Our stamina should be going up. We healed up our little bit that we were down. From the zombies getting frisky with us, which we don't like. Oh, look, there's several rocks around here. That's awesome. But what I want to do is let's go ahead and, while we're covering our stamina, uh, make some wood spike traps. Uh-huh. How many can we make? Uh, it's almost a hundred, but let's make like 40. Yeah, that's quite a bit of wood. Oh, and we cut down an oak. Alright. Where's our vase? Um... Your plant. I forgot what they were used in. It's a new recipe. Um, you can make the snowberry extract, but then the snowberry extract is also used in something. I forgot what it was. I saw it in, I think it was, it was a cooking recipe, but we don't have that here, so we're not going to worry about it right now. I, uh, busted a couple of these. This is going to take a long time to wear this guy down. We'll just run by, hit one. 
every now and then. <laughs> It'll eventually go away. Okay, so we can get up here. Let's sort of clear the area around here. Um, and I would like to eventually get at least the interior wooden uh, all the way around on the bottom. Um, possibly cement would be better uh, because that's covering the top of where all of our stuff is right now. Um, I don't really want it up there because I want to leave this open so I can shoot down if they come in. Uh, that's the whole point as I want them to come in but I don't know how far I want them to come in. It might be better to to really close that off. Uh, but I do want to go ahead and get some spikes. All the way. It's just to, so that they have to take damage to come in. And I probably want to put um, ladders on this side and that side so that I can get up on whatever side I'm coming from. That would be nice. Uh, easy access. Yes. So hopefully we'll be able to get, uh, oh, we're out. And we're out. That didn't last long. Oh, yeah. That'd be another 800. That one did not last long, did it? I really like it that that stuff uh, goes back into your your hot bar where you had it. That's really nice. <laughs> so I guess I should let it wait so it'll save my position. <laughs> the direction that I have it turned because otherwise it will go back to the default okay let's come out here on the outside so we're not stuck in and we can go gather more wood so there we go um, it might be best to go ahead and put walls on that interior and then maybe solidify the bottom of that. I don't really want to, but it would keep them from being able to come into my base in the middle of the night. Um, and uh, yeah, we could lay other traps for them once they get into that area. Maybe we'll put, um, what kind of traps can we do? Uh, would that be under science? Um. Hmm. Tools, traps, of course. I don't really think the the loose boards block is what I'm looking for. Maybe it's gonna be stuff that's locked behind. Um, the workbench would be science. Uh, let's look at that. Uh, it's probably here. Advanced engineering. Uh, yeah. We're going to have to be 30 to make any elaborate traps. Basic electrical components. Uh, there's advanced electrical components in level 2. 
which is locked behind int level 6. This is int level 5. And int level 5 is level 30, and that's level 40. <sighs> okay, um, for the yeah science, that's int level 6, so that's 40. You can, uh, oh, hubcap, some mines might be good, but maybe once we get the cement um, on the interior, so it doesn't blow up stuff around our base. Uh, I was hoping I could at least make like the fire trap, the fire pit. I just, uh, there's the blade trap. Yeah, they're, they're in the workbench. But I thought there was the fire trap. Maybe it's the pit. No, I don't know. Um, I know you could make them before. Maybe it was a mod. Okay, it's 12 o'clock. We got some wood around or some traps around here i'd like to go ahead oh that's not where i wanted that i would like to uh, maybe reinforce some of the corners oh stupid grass i need to clear that out to like that I'll just leave that there. Um, so we only have enough to fortify a couple corners. Hey, there's a couple zombies over there. So we'll need some more uh, some more wood. Hello. How are you doing, Mr. Businessman? <laughs> Stay down, please. I don't like it when they get back. Oh, yeah. You know what? The, it's so close to the base. It's not going to respawn anything, I don't think. So I'll just get rid of it so I don't find it again and go... <gasps> empty bird's nest. That's like such a sad feeling. It's the empty bird's nest. Oh look one that we found. And it had an egg. Oh that's awesome. Okay. Um. We really need. Look at that. We only. We went through that wood in like no time. Let's go back and uh, chop some more of these trees because I want to get the, at least two layers on the corners. We'll leave the areas around the ladders a little bit thinner so that uh, we don't accidentally stand on them. <laughs> That's a thing sometimes, you know. You get to your ladder Hi, Nikki. That's, that's the big orange cat that wants her mama to get up and feed her. Uh, she's now looking at me like, you're responsible for this girl not, not getting up at 7.30 on a Sunday morning. <laughs> she gave up. Nikki, you go tell your own mama. Okay, <laughs> I can't believe we, like, 80 traps, that 1,600 wood gone, just like that, just like that. We're going to have a huge forest over here. Whoa, hey, hey, hang on, Nikki, what are you doing knocking stuff over? Oh, sorry about that. 
Okay. Um, how much wood do we have? 500. That's not enough for another 40. I guess uh, if I did 50, that'd be an even thousand. Wow. At least our stamina is up from uh, eating the food, which is good. Oh, a tiny little rock for me. And we have a uh, gobs of cobblestone. I'd like to go ahead and upgrade those. Uh, maybe we'll do that. We'll have to climb up. To get in. <laughs> this is going to be a huge forest over here. I could probably uh, just plant the one down now. That I take down and bet it'll be a good size forest by the time it regrows. And I knew you could do it. I knew you could. I believe in you. And we got a couple more of these um, 900 guys around here. Oh look, is this garbage? Garbage, oh, rotten flesh. Yes, a tasty treat. Uh, the rotten flesh recipe, it takes like 10 uh, to make the fork bites. No, the hobo stew, it takes 10. I don't know how good it is because I've never actually made it. Um, these are a recipe that is, I think, the tier 5 cooking. I haven't ever gotten to that. and It seems like making a can of sham is sort of pointless, I guess, if you're desperate for food. Uh, I think the hobo stew would probably be really better because it's... I think either the third or fourth cooking tier, which is, um, the, from what I've seen, of the third tier is really good food. Um, the, the sham chowder is amazing. It tastes one sandwich. It's awesome. Uh, it's like, uh, way better than bacon and eggs or the meat stew. It's amazing. <sighs> yeah. Oh, we did make a level, didn't we? We have a point available. Uh, so, I wanted to do, didn't I spend the point in archery? I thought I did. Oh no, I did perception to increase the range weapon damage. Um, because I think uh, that's better. And we can do another point in here. I think I'm going to do that. Just to increase our ranged weapon damage. Because we're going to be doing a lot of ranged weapon <laughs> damage on Horde Knight. That should be enough for now. Let's go ahead and make our 40. It's probably a little bit more than what we need. And we'll go ahead and reinforce those other two corners. Um, actually, let's go ahead and let those make. While those are making, we'll go on the inside. And we'll reinforce the things on the inside. 
I made these doors. This is, uh, I was trying to solidify the blocks around the doors, but I ran out of wood on this one in the night. <laughs> okay, so the zombies um, pretty much will go through those spikes pretty quickly. And I think, yeah, at least the first four. And each of these pillars would be good. They probably can't reach up much higher. And I'm hoping that there aren't going to be very many cops on the first horde night. I don't know because I, I normally play level below Nomad. Uh, although Nomad doesn't seem that bad. Um, the mobs, I can tell that the zombies have more hit points, but I don't think it's too terribly bad. Because uh, I don't want to spend 10 minutes killing one mob. Uh, but Nomad does, it seems okay. awesome. Getting our base on. Yeah, I was um, digging out in this corner below here uh, when the zombie was milling around up here and I cleared away the block under there and it sort of let the light through from below and he saw it and he busted the block of dirt. I would really like to at least get uh, wood placed down so it's solid and it'll mesh with the stone so that you can't see through to the bottom, which would be nice. Uh, so I can finish working down there and not have to worry about the zombies seeing uh, through the blocks. But that's a lot. I need to get some metal to... Oh, there's a key damage, that one. Uh, to repair that hatch. Let's go grab it real quick. Just a little bit. Get here. had upgraded it as far as it would go. Awesome. Okay, let's let's actually throw this stuff in there. We used up quite a bit of that uh, cobble. Actually, I wanted to put this... I can't reach the board from there. Let's go ahead and put that in there. Um, we'll turn it on and we'll make what iron we can. Yay, okay. Rotten flesh. Um, I think this is in the ammo chest now. And, um, I think there's something with first aid, maybe. That, and the cotton goes in there. Let's put the pine seeds in there. All our spike traps are done now. So we're going to go ahead and... Oh wow, it's 14 o'clock already. Huh. That did not open. Um, yeah, we're going to have to get on the outside. I want to upgrade all these hatches too. So at least there. <laughs> this is a, a very piddly defense. I'm wondering if I should solidify the, the area around there. Maybe put at least two blocks 
tall or something. Okay, so it's facing this way. Let's go ahead and do it over here first. Whew. I thought that was going to go up one. I think that's four, four in between each one. So that's eight, 16. So it'd be 64 blocks that I need if I were to at least put two blocks that's a lot I don't know that I can make 64 blocks 46 we do have 700 stone though so we can probably get it I don't think two blocks is gonna be much of the turret um, I think they would be able to like pretty much bounce on each other's heads and just walk over uh, and then that will give them the ability to hit the box there <sighs> which wouldn't be good so maybe what we could do is if we could make 64 twice. We could put two on the bottom and two on the top. Leave the gap in the middle. Uh, just to save blocks because then they should be able to get through that. Yeah. Okay. Um, so let's go up and in and get some clay. Some clay dirt. Um, I was thinking about, <laughs> I don't know how the zombie AI works, but I was thinking about ways to sort of um, confuse the zombies to distract them from coming to the central area. Where's my clay? My clay is in here. What I want to do is maybe make, um, there, that should be good for a little bit. Uh, so I thought about maybe making some wooden doors with some just some uh, solidified frames around them to see if they're drawn to them <laughs> even if uh, even if they're just standing there but then that's gonna sort of block my view. Um, so let's see, maybe one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So if they're hitting the door, I was thinking of uh, just framing it like this. <laughs> framing it like that, but if I solidify these blocks, I'm not going to be able to see the zombies to shoot them. 
if they're on the other side. Hmm. I don't know, but I think it's worth trying. Even if it is a, a small distraction, uh, the zombies are going to be running. I just want like a way to slow them down a little bit. Now, it would be nice if, like, uh, you know, the flagstone half blocks, if those actually took half as much resources, because it's only half a block. Uh, but it doesn't. I think all of them all take four, like a full block. That takes four, that takes four. That takes four, and the, the full block takes four. So that's kind of... I just wish I could be more... Like if I chose a thing. I guess if you had half a block, this way they can all have the same amount of hit points. some of this at night but what I want to do is maybe get uh, some more metal um, so while we're making some of this stuff uh, I'm gonna get one of the wrenches mm, I guess that one will work and there is a car in one of the houses nearby. Oh, this is a pain to get up and down and through and around. I know there's a car in this garage, a full car that we can take apart and hopefully get some metal. I know there's a few more cars around. Get some metal, get some other resources. That way we're not just standing around. I do want to make... I don't know that... If I want full blocks in there... a dilemma. I don't know. This is my first base build for Alpha 17, so I'm not sure exactly what's going to work. It's going to work. Uh, look at all that stuff we're getting. That's awesome. I was thinking maybe I could use this metal to make some of the barbed wire and put it on top of... spike traps. So if they get up on the spike traps, then they're going to hit barbed wire too. That way we're not having to just sit there and harvest the wood. We can use up some of the resources, which would be nice. Okay, I think there was a car over on the outside of one of these. Is this, yeah, that one right there. Uh, yeah, we're going to use up this wrench. That was three levels 
of that. We'll look at all those mechanical parts. Those are going to come in handy. Um, I don't know which blocks I want. I don't, I think they fixed like the poles. Normally with the zombies were, um, there they couldn't hit the poles very easily or something. Uh, so if you had your poles um, sideways, we need to get some endurance, uh, some stamina back. So if the, the poles were sideways, the zombies couldn't hit uh, unless they lost their legs and they could maybe hit the bottom one. I don't really want to do that. Uh, Okay, we got a little bit of durability left on there. How much metal did we get? And <laughs> it's only 148. Holy cow. I wanted to make some of this barbed wire. That's, that's not even 10. Dude, it's not even 10. It's 9. That's not very much. Crap. Okay. Um, what about this? This is metal. Let's see if we can make this uh, structure fall. I think the ceiling is metal too. Isn't it? No, that is wood. That is wood too. Well, that stinks. What is this made out of? That's rock. <laughs> Three more. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, I bet this thing falls if I break this. We did lose a few of the blocks, but they're much easier to uh, to harvest once they've fallen uh, and they're not in this block. They have a lot less hit points. Oh boy, the stamina. We don't have any food on us. There we go. Oh, that one only left one. That stinks. I can't believe that didn't fall. <laughs> wow. Okay. Well, that's not a very good resource for metal. Um... As long as it takes to gather those blocks, I mean, it's better just to harvest these rocks right here. So get um, each one of those rocks is like, isn't it five? Doesn't it turn out to be like five metal if you smelt it in the forge? Are we thirsty? Yeah, let's go ahead and use our drink eat once we get back over there so instead of making the forged iron i can make uh the iron scraps make the iron scraps and then make some barbed wire <sighs> no eggs no eggs why is there never any eggs? Are the birds of this land infertile and unable? Oh! Level up, busting the rocks. Um, I, I want to spend the points in getting as much damage as I possibly can 
I think I can buy this. Yeah, because that requires level 20, which we are. So we're going to go ahead and boost that. That'll help also with the POIs. Um, plus, I put the stone arrows back up. And I'm now using the iron arrows. So that'll also help with the damage. I was going to try to use the stone arrows up. But now that we have our own forge, uh, we can make our uh, arrowheads. Yeah, now that we can make our own iron arrowheads, there's no need to um, ever use the stone ones again. Okay, and our door is ready. Uh, I guess we can go ahead and upgrade it to... Um, the next tier, just the wood. Hopefully, it's, uh, where's my hammer? Hammer! There we go. That was hard. Okay. Good deal. I think I at least upgraded this one too. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Okay, we were, we were going to try to place this barbed wire. Like, I want it above... Come on. It's like, it's very hard to hit that little edge there. So that's good. That's what we want. Um, I don't know if they'll see that as like, um, come on. <laughs> uh, the hope is that I'll be able to get all the corners done like that. I don't want it laying on there. There we go. All right, so let's go. Um, let's go. Let's go to the movies. Let's go to the show. Okay, let's throw the iron in there. We have quite a bit. Uh, get that on and we're looking to make this. This only takes one, so yeah. That should give us quite a bit, maybe. I want to favor that. Uh, how much can we make? Oh, that's, that's quite a bit more. Uh, we can make 420. And that would probably make us enough hard wire to at least get the corners done. That would be awesome. Alright, let's put that iron away. <laughs> I do have a little bit over here. So we can use that up. Go ahead and since we're in here, put the stuff and things away. That was a lot of mechanical parts. That was really nice. I forgot about radiators and headlights. Oh, stop it. That's a pain. Oh, you don't go in there. I'm sort of ambitious, <laughs> you can tell. I plan to get a lot of that stuff. Okay, this stuff doesn't go in here, it goes over here. And 
then the ammo. Others. And we can put this um, bench away. Yeah, let's not gather that because that took way too long uh, to break the cars down. Maybe that's uh, something I can do another day. All right, let's go ahead and make some more wood frames. I feel vulnerable. I only have less than 10 on me, so <laughs> wood frames are important. Um, what time is it? 18 o'clock. Oh, we don't have very much time left. How much of this do we have? Let's grab that. Get some more. Did I not? I didn't favorite that. How many can we make? 25. Let's crack them up. And it went right to my inventory slot. Excellent, excellent. Whoa, whoa, kitties. Whoa. Oh, she's so angry. I wish I could make my, my poor kitty happy. She's angry with all the other kitties in the house. There we go. Good times. Okay, I don't want it to lay like that. There we go. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, so we have 13 extra. Um, I gotta figure out what blocks I want to use. I don't necessarily want to use um, it might be beneficial to be able to see through there's a quarter section the quarter block is centered on one side of the block space Interesting. Let's um let's make like some of these and see how we can if we can make some uh, little holes where we can see out. I think I would want that section out like that. It'd be cool if it was just like, um, okay, let's do it like that. I wonder if I left, if I arranged it like that. know that I would want yeah let's do that I don't know that I would want a whole block oh that's the one I wanted that one so maybe something like that that I could see through maybe we could leave the top one solid some more of those. Oh, 
Oh, it's starting again. Nighttime now. It's 19 o'clock. So now if we made uh, some Sixteen of them. Okay. You can put the solid blocks up here. Like that. Uh, that way they don't have, uh, I don't know, I'm afraid maybe dogs might be able to come through there. That would be bad if they were to like jump up, maybe. That would, that would be really bad. Alright, it's 19 o'clock. Um, I think that's early enough. Um, I'm probably going to gather more wood, gather more stone, uh, finish this off, and yeah, that's the plan. <laughs> Solidify this interior part so I don't have to worry about zombies every time I come out of here. So we're gonna go ahead and call the video here. Um, I thank you for watching, and I hope to see you next time for episode seven and our first seven day hoard. Uh, probably go ahead and record the night time. So that'll be video eight probably. Yeah. Or we could just make the seven run long. Uh, that would probably be a good idea because it'll only go to midnight. So yeah. Anyway, thank you for watching and bye-bye.